from Las Vegas, it's Let's Talk News Now with Rick and Ella. Welcome back. We're continuing our conversation with Ron Chattrall. Welcome back to the set. I mean, this is so much fun. Is it nice to get back on camera then you get to leave again and just like go, ah, I don't have to do this anymore? No, it's just, no, it, it is fun to get back on camera. I enjoy it. You know, it's, uh, I'm comfortable with it. It, it, right. it, it. So it feels good to me. So, no, that's, I appreciate this opportunity to come here. It was either this or play on the PGA Tour, which I probably wasn't going to be able to make that. Um, or I was thinking of being a rock star. I was thinking of Jimmy Page was my favorite guitarist. He can be a rock star after the interview. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. I was thinking of you all, like those, that. all those things. So. And then come back to tell us how it's going. So. Exactly. Share with us what it is you're doing now. Well, one of the things I'm doing is since I'm no longer actively on the news and TV, right. I can speak my mind politically, which is something that's very important to me to do. And it's uh, you know, suppressed it when I was on TV because when you're when you're there, you're supposed to be unbiased right. to at least give that appearance. Now, nobody can be totally unbiased. I understand that, and we could we could talk for hours on that issue right there. But what I like is through uh, one of the websites that I'm writing for right now, Breitbart.com. Andrew Breitbart, the late Andrew Breitbart, who died. Mm -hmm just recently, earlier this year, at 43 years old, uh, gave me the opportunity to start writing politically uh, from a conservative point of view, and also critiquing the media. And I think that's one of the big issues, certainly, as we look forward to the elections coming up at any time politically in this country. Uh, I'm, I'm a firm believer, believer that, the, that the media has an inherent bias in it, that it has an inherent left-wing bias, that that's the structure of the media, and that's the way they write. I see it, I know it, I expose it through that website. Get a lot. It's, it's one of the top 300 websites in the country. Yeah. So I get a lot of re uh, reaction from people when I write those web uh, stories on those websites. It's a tremendous reaction that I get from, uh, really from all over the world. Right. So that's nice. You know, and then those kinds of things to me are always fun. Anyway, to be able to start writing opinions and editorials on, on things. Right. So it's, it's great. Okay, so easy ones. Romney versus Obama. Tight race, now the tight race, Obama's to lose, Romney's, what, where's he at with that? No, it's going to be tight, first of all. It's going to be yeah. tight, it's gonna, it may come down to that evening here in Nevada. Really? You know, with our six electoral uh, votes here in the state of Nevada are going to be critical. You think there, we'll be a big state? Yeah, there's a, yes, absolutely. There's okay. a handful of swing states. Yeah. More are coming into play for Romney that you didn't think were previous swing states before. Uh, Wisconsin is one of them. Michigan might be one of them that come into play for Romney. There are traditional Democrat states that will go possibly, or at least going to be close, right. uh, Republican states in 2012. So we'll see how it goes. Shouldn't Romney be able to carry Michigan, though? I mean, with his dad's legacy that and his and his time in, in Michigan, should, I would have automatically put that into Rom into Romney's but, camp. But it's traditionally a blue state, though. Yes, I, that 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 gives him a fighting chance. Right. Certainly in Michigan is one of the things. But it's traditionally a, a pretty blue state, uh, a Democrat state, not a Republican state, a red state, if you will. So that's that's the other part that gets it going towards uh, towards Obama's camp. The early on was of course that Florida was going to could very well once again be that state that would decide the president of the United States. Do you see Florida being all that or you think that's pretty much in one camp or another? That's Romney camp. camp. Yes, that's Romney yeah. camp. Yeah, that's, Florida's going to go red. Um, Ohio is key. Wisconsin is key. Michigan, you said there. Pennsylvania, traditionally a blue state, could go red this time. We're going to be close there to see what happens. So, no, but Florida, Florida, pretty much, I think both sides are looking at that one as being um, a red state. And certainly if he picks Rubio right. as his vice presidential candidate, then that's going to make Florida well, We even talked more about this fight. earlier, who you think he should choose as his running mate. Down to three choices. Right. Um, Marco Rubio, senator from Florida. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with the uh, the junior senator from the state of Florida and Mr. <laughs> Rubio. Um, yeah. So we're going to be one of those three choices that he's going to take. So I, I like Marco Rubio. Oh, yeah, a lot of people like him. Very conservative, very Absolutely. strong. And I think politically he fits, but I, uh, you know, into what you want, into ensuring Florida. The Hispanic vote certainly has been talked about quite often, but I but I like where he stands politically. So I think Marco Rubio would be it'd be a personally be a good choice for me. I like him. plus he's a Vegas guy by the oh, way. Did you know this? No, I didn't know that. Marco Rubio? Mar Marco? No, no. There's a crazy no. story. Okay, go ahead. I oh, hear that. Oh, I'm, getting, I'm getting a scoop. Here. I'm getting a scoop. Right. Marco Rubio and Mo Dennis. Mo Dennis, who's Democrat senator, uh, state senator, right? Uh, grew up. They're, they're first or second cousins. They're relatives. They live. Their families live together here in Nevada up until. He was 13 years old and moved to Florida. Okay, oh, hey. wow. so he's so, originally in Las Vegas. He's a, he, and I don't yeah. know if he was—he's not originally born here, but their families lived here for a while. He was—he yeah. grew up here 
um, his youth was here, uh, and then he moved to uh, Florida. So no, he was, uh, yeah, he's got Las Vegas ties. What do you think are going to be the big, the top three issues, you think? Um, jobs, economy, and jobs. Did I mention That's jobs right, already? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what matters most is the economy right now. That's what Romney is, is holding this campaign to and talking right. about more than anything else because it's to his advantage. I mean, he's brilliant when it comes to figuring out how to fix things right. economically. He's done it in the past. Uh, I go back to 2002. I covered those so you Olympics. Think, you think he can grab it then? You think Romney's there? Uh, that, that he's going to win? That he's going to win. It's going to be tight anyway. It's going to be tight either I'm way. Tight I won't make time. a prediction. I mean, my prediction would be probably Romney, but uh, but I'm not. Gonna, I, I would like to see that happen personally. I, I think that would be better for the country, quite frankly. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll come back, Ron. You got to come back and see us again soon. Oh no, I could go on for a, a month if you want. We'll, 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 we'll do it. <laughs> you know something? I like you. it. We'll do it. Thank you. We'll be Pleasure. back right after this. <laughs> 